In this video, we're going to be taking the pattern that we created in the last video, the repeating hamburger pattern, and we're going to space it out and give it a little bit more room to breathe. Hey everybody, my name is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Scout Treasures. I'm creating a playlist of videos on how to create sublimation print for, whether you're using this for Printful or something else, but I made a really cool dress using the sublimation print and um, it's up on Printful. So in this series of videos, I'm going to have everything from setting up your Printful account to how to integrate it with Etsy and also different ways to create a sublimation print because there are a few different ways and there might be different um, things you're trying to create. And so I'm going to be creating each in its own separate video. So if you're interested in checking those out, make sure to check out the playlist and to save it to your watch later or whatever print on demand um, playlist that you may have saved so that you can find it when you need it. Thanks for following along in this playlist for creating sublimation designs. In the last video we created a pattern from one image and as you saw if you watched it we had a pattern that was repeating but it was really close together and it was really repetitive so in this video we're going to talk about how to separate those patterns and that's what we're going to do okay make sure when you go to sign up for printful and etsy that you use my links down below that uh, lets printful know that i'm the one that sent you and also on etsy it gives you 40 free listings so uh, make sure you use those down below i really appreciate it thanks so much thanks for coming back so this was the pattern that we created in the last video but let's say that you like these hamburgers, but there are they are too close together and that's not what you want. So what we're going to do, there's two ways to get to the menu that we're looking for. One of them is to come on the onto the picture, the pattern that you have created um, and double click it. And you'll see this window open up right here, pattern options right here. And you can see that we have a grid pattern going on right now. Um, this is kind of fun just to play around with. Remember, you can always Command Z or Edit Undo if you for, you know do something and you're like, I didn't want that. So it's it's okay to play around with it. So you can come over here. You can do grid, which is what it is now. Brick by row, which offsets things. Um, brick by column, which offsets them going vertically. And there's hex by column. <laughs> that really that looks kind of cool, actually. <laughs> You can make a total repeating pattern where it's just all the hamburgers like that. Okay, so let's get back to the grid. Say you like it like this as a grid, but they're just too close together. So what you're going to do is come over here to width and height, and you're going to change those over here. So let's say I want, now remember, my square at the time is really only three inches by three inches, so maybe I want them one inch apart. Let's see how that looks. That is not okay. <laughs> so I'm going to need to do something a little more drastic. So, so let's say we want to put them five inches apart. We can play around with that and see how it looks. Five inches apart. Now they're really spread out. Uh, maybe you think that's too spread out, um, but let's say you come in. Let's save it. Let's say, okay, we're going to save a copy of it spread hamburger we can always come back and undo it okay that's fine okay cancel done so we've got this but it's too 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 spread out I like them spread out but not that much object scale I want to transform them by let's say 10% okay and now I can zoom in and see like I've got a bunch of tiny tiny hamburgers all over my panel. I'm going to bring my rectangle down so you can kind of see it within the square so it doesn't throw you off. All right, so now we've got hamburgers. They're really teeny tiny, but maybe that's not what we wanted either. All right, so I'm going back to our pattern that we had that was just like this so we can go start again. We're going to drop them down and make them smaller again. So you guys can see that, transform, scale, let's do 50% again. So we've got these hamburgers again. Once again, there, there were two ways where we could get to the pattern panel. We can double click on this, or you can come over and select, let me get out of this, done. 
um, object, pattern, and we're gonna edit the pattern right there. So that's gonna pop up that same menu. I'm gonna zoom it out so I can see what I'm doing. So I want my pattern to be about two inches apart. No, I want my pattern to be three inches apart, like so. And then I also want, I'm gonna probably need them to be smaller to fit on my square. So that's something else I need to take a look at. So done there. So they're a little more spread apart. I'm gonna select them again. Object, transform, scale. I'm gonna drop them down by 50% again. So that's our pattern. So they're not right on top of each other, bumping up against each other. So that's how you do that. I forgot to record this last part. So if you wanna offset these again, you're gonna select your image on the swatch to open up the pattern menu. And then you're going to do brick by row or brick by column, whichever one you prefer. And then you'll go up and click done. And then you've got your hamburger pattern that is offset. Don't forget you guys, I've got two links down below. One is for signing up for Printful and the other one is to get your 40 free listings for Etsy. Thanks I'm for checking out the video, everybody. Go down there and leave it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Was it clear? Did you understand? Or was there something I need to elaborate on? I really appreciate you coming to check it out and I'll talk to you later. Bye.